Plus. Uh, this is Chris for Hidden Room, and we're gonna play this game. Now, uh, M Plus Plus is a platformer. It's the sequel to M Plus, which was an XBL XBLA game. Uh, so a lot of PlayStation gamers missed out it missed out on it the first time it came out, uh, and it is really fun. It's a uh, it's a very tight platformer that uh, it, it rewards skill and it punishes greed. So let's first. This color here that you're seeing, the uh, color scheme, the grayscale, that is uh, Vasquez. That is the original color of M+. Uh, in this version, though, the levels will change colors and keep your screen from, well, I guess your screen wouldn't burn in, but uh, it, it, it's nice to have it switch up every once in a while. So I'm going to play with clean for right now, and let's head up to... But we'll start off with uh, some simple levels. There are actually uh, three separate tabs of levels that you can choose from. There's Intro, N++, the main game, and Legacy, which lets you relive some of those uh, levels that you might have missed out on if you didn't have a 360 or uh, just didn't play the game before. So, let's get started. Uh, what you'll notice up top is there is a timer that is increased when you collect gold. Now, that... The uh, more gold you have when you finish a set of levels, the better, like that increases your rank and everything, but it is also a trap. <laughs> uh, I find it's better, for, at least for me, just to play in a survival manner, like just get through them. I don't really worry too much about rankings, although my rankings were much higher when I played these levels originally. Since then, a lot more people who maybe are perhaps more skilled than I have uh, been playing, and I have fallen pretty steadily. I believe like the lowest I got was like in the hundreds uh, like of players. I was pretty happy about that. Now I believe I'm in the 1800s. So yeah, a bit of a sharp drop there, but you know, what can you do? Uh, I guess I could play better, but I'm not going to. Uh, now, there's a bunch of different enemy types and uh, there are a lot of ways to die. And it will happen a lot but it will almost certainly always be your fault uh, every time. The control, it does, it's a game that handles so well that whenever you do mess up, it is your fault. I, I could have probably gone for that lower level of gold down there, but we'll just skip it. Not really worried about it right now. Uh, but yeah, this, is a, it, this level is actually a perfect example of punishing greed. Now, I could go straight back there and end this level and finish it quickly. Instead, I'm going to try for this at the risk of rockets. Yeah, that goes. Ah, uh, almost. All right, let's try one more time. Play the greedy way one more. If I can't do it. I'll just uh, jump to the next one. I'm not gonna make you guys suffer through my uh, multiple attempts. And like, this is a game that, like, as you learn, it's in and out. It's it's, it's uh, much more manageable than you would think. Am I gonna rank? 1851, there we go, under 2000. <laughs> oh, I've fallen hard. Now, again, that's another one like where yeah, we can go for all this gold, but I'm not going to right now. Just play it safe. It's fun to watch, right? Someone safely go through levels slowly and meticulously now? Okay, sorry. <laughs> Uh, but as you fall down walls, you can slow your descent uh, by grabbing onto the walls. You can speed up by bouncing back and forth, but as opposed to just the single side climb. All right. So a lot of different control method methods for this, and uh, really any anything that happens is your directly your fault, like whether it's something good or bad. So that's some, that's something that will. Uh, something good to keep in mind, especially when you're watching me play and I die. Like, I, this isn't a game where you can really blame uh, lag or anything. I actually haven't had a chance to try the uh, co-op either uh, in a, in, in a, uh, at least not extensively, you know. Uh, in the last game, in M+, uh, you would, when you're, you're playing online, you would pretty often be able to see, like, through the multiverse and watch uh, possible deaths of like your teammates, so many times you'd see uh, your uh, other ninjas expl exploding, but they were still playing. 
so I'm, I'm pretty sure the netcode's a bit better on this one. I didn't see any uh, of that on the little bit that I did play, but uh, you know, I, I, I'd like to I'd like to play a bit more before I say that for certain. Uh, this is a game that uh, is very fun with with friends. It's uh, it's very zen, and that's not a word I use often. Uh, but it it does it, it's easy to just lose yourself in this game for a couple hours um, and, and really just fall into it. But the music is nice and uh, well, you're a you're you're a, a rave ninja basically. Uh, it's usually some pretty intense techno. Right now it's actually a pretty soft one, so that's not really selling my point, but uh, it is a, it's a nice experience, you know? Uh, it's, it's one of those games that you can just kind of put on, shut your brain off, like you're, and, and just let, like, uh, instinct take, take over. Uh, see. Hey, trophy! That's, uh, I'll look at it later. Sorry about that, I forgot. You guys can't see that screen. I don't know why. Why wouldn't I want everyone having my personal information? What's the worst that could happen, right? Alright, so... I'm just gonna be quiet. Uh, I could, let's, uh... For a couple seconds that you just... There's this vibe on the music, you know? Just relax. Go out. Uh... You just, just really get into it. <laughs> Oh, on this level specifically. See how these uh, are angled? Uh, that's how I was able to fall from that height without splatting. So, in case anyone was wondering. But now, now I'll be quiet. it up sounds dumb but yeah it does it freshens it up like as dumb as that uh, sound oh here's something I forgot to show you uh, when I when you press the triangle and this is fun to do with uh, people who haven't played before you tell them uh, that oh triangle button or on 360 uh, Y is a boost or just just pick something that they, that would make them want to want to press it uh, and uh, that's actually a self-destruct button yeah that that kills you and obviously it only works once, but it's fun. It's still fun to do. You know, to uh, take them, te that'll teach them for, for trusting you, you know? And that, that's how friendships work, right? That's, that's a good basis to, uh, good foundation for a friendship. You know, maybe. Oh, and you wonder why I am not, haven't played the co-op yet. Uh, set. I feel like that's like, giving you guys a good sample for how this feels and what it's like. Um, over, overall, it's, I, I'd say it's worth it. It's only $20. Uh, if you pre-ordered it, this is news coming to you too, too late. This level is familiar. I think I already played this. Did I already play this? They changed the colors, so see what I mean? It freshens things up. Yeah, I played this. Let's, let's not begin. Let's quit. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, it's worth it. 20 bucks. I mean, that that's for for how much game you're getting for the out of this, it it'll last you a while. Like I played some of the easier levels. Uh, maybe we'll hop into D here. See what I don't. How did I unlock one level in D? 
That's weird. Uh, I think it goes down. Aren't you guys glad you came to me for information? I seem to not know myself, but uh, let's pop down here real quick. This is the story of M+. Thank you, friend request from name. Uh, but this is the story of M+. Uh, and it's pretty funny. Feel free to pause, read it, enjoy. Uh, and this game actually offers a lot more options than the original one did, which I ha I'm red. I have. I'm not gonna say color blindness. I'm gonna say that red green color deficiency. I, I mix those up sometimes. So I might try that out later. I haven't yet. I never really had issue with this game. Uh, the last one in co-op, you get to ch uh, change the color of your own personal ninja. So I'm assuming maybe that'll help with that. Because uh, yeah, that I would have some issues with. But uh, yeah, you get a lot. Of, you can get pretty deep into uh, customization for this. Um, I have not tried that. You know, let's let's get crazy. Am I right? Let's see what Outlandish looks like for explosions. Real quick. Then I I'm leaving. I promise. Let's try D. You guys get an idea of what the, some of the later levels look like. Yeah, it does get intense, but it is a nice slow uh, climb. Like, yeah, I don't expect it to, to be like it, it's punishing, but it's not. It's not going to come out of nowhere. Like, you'll 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 feel it uh, getting more difficult as time goes on. I say as I die for the fourth time. who I actually should have brought over for this uh, let's play. He is... He tears these games apart. I, uh... I don't know how he does it. Uh, I never would have gotten as far as I have on Super Meat Boy uh, coming to the PlayStation Network. I think next month I should, I should actually check on that before I start promising that. But uh, we're getting it for free on the PlayStation, so that's pretty cool. That's another game that it plays like this where any mistakes you make are your own fault. And, uh... Okay really can tear you down but if once you get the hang of the controls they can really it's it's a rewarding experience but anyway uh he i he is the one who got me through most of that game because i guess my thumbs don't work too well uh <laughs> it it it's intense there are parts of that game i'll never see and wouldn't have seen but without him i believe i was asleep on the couch uh after having uh given up Good, another another good game though. Check down on uh, PlayStation Plus if you have. If you should have it. Uh, there's no reason not to. It's silly not to. Uh, people will complain like, oh, it's not. They're not actually free games. They are. I mean, yeah, you're paying for it, but like compared to the price of the games, like yeah, they're free. Uh, it's fifty dollars a year. I uh, don't even pay that much. You can usually find it for forty. Uh, this. I swear, this isn't an ad. I just. Seems crazy not to have it. Uh, I don't know how to do this level. I'm gonna go quiet now while I figure this out. Give me one second. Just enjoy the music. Okay, forget it. Don't buy this game. Because this level exists in it. And you will never surpass it. See all that gold over there? That's a trap. Like, I'm sure there's someone who can get that, but I'd like to see the rest of this game.
Uh, oh, uh, real quick, that's that's uh, another thing actually. If uh, you played the, uh, that's it for that though. Uh, if you played the last game, uh, I noticed that I had a lot more trouble uh, actually having enough gold to finish levels most of the time. At least in some of the later levels. Uh, I haven't experienced too much of that yet, but as you can see, I am not exactly super far into the game. Uh, about halfway through, like what would comprise like the main game, I, I, I guess. Uh, and then you still have all the legacy levels uh, to play through. And yeah, that's it. Uh, race and co-op, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, usually with co-op, one person will have to do something that will trap them and uh, end up in their death to unlock the gate. But I mean, it's teamwork, you know? One person lives, one person dies. It's Thunderdome. Uh, and then race is just who can get there first uh, or get there at all. Uh, now, okay, you also have your own create a level thing, which is pretty, uh, oh. okay, that's pretty expensive, um, but yeah, maybe we'll get into that in another video for right now, I just quit, I'm not going to save that because there's nothing there. Uh, yeah, that's that's that. This is my progress, so that gives you a good feel for the game. Hopefully you go pick it up. 20 bucks right now on the PSN. Maybe it'll go on sale, maybe not. Either way, go buy it. It is fun, and I'd like to see more games like it. Uh, especially, uh, I want the very few people who have made this game to be rewarded. I This is it. Can you imagine a, another game having such a small list of credits? Uh, I think Assassin's Creed now actually has half an hour, like the, as a series. Like, uh, each game has about half an hour worth of credits. Uh, so there's a nice small game, small developer. Really fun, though, and uh, really tight. So, go get it. Thanks for watching. Have a, uh, have a great day.